on the shaky camera video, the problem with this mount is that this kept wiggling. My brother-in-law took it apart. You have to take pretty much the whole thing apart to uh, see if he could tighten this down. And th this is a... it ratchets. So there's a spring in there that I guess is supposed to keep this from wiggling like that. And that wiggles a lot. But the spring really isn't strong enough. So, you know, when you're going down the road, it's just wiggling all over the place. And we tightened it down as tight as we could, and it still, it still has that play in it. Other than that, I thought it was a pretty good mount. So, um, I'm going to take it apart, and we're going to see if we can do something to fix it and make it work. I mean, if not, it's not a big deal. It was only less than $7. So, uh, then we'll go with something else. I also did find that this foam here didn't work to buffer any wind noise. It was still extremely noisy. So, all of this is going to come off. And the mic is going to come out. And I might try one more time to place the mic here, underneath this. And um, we'll see. I just don't think that it's going to work with this helmet because the wind just rushes right up under there. Um, I did pass a couple semis on the highway. And even though I had this strapped as tight as I could, and it was kind of choking me, the wind rushed up under there and lifted it and really pulled it back on my head to the point where it, it just really felt like it was coming off. Of course it didn't, but I think this helmet is just going to be used for in town, riding around town, slow speed riding, and I'm going to have to get out my full face and hook up my camera to it and use it for highway riding. We did ride 70 miles yesterday, so that was a pretty good little ride, and most of it was through the country, some on the highway. Um, I don't know how many of you are in this area. Uh, I'm in the more or less the St. Louis area. They have a Bike, Biking Life magazine. has a swap meet at the loading dock in Grafton. Uh, it's mostly Harley stuff, but if you're in the area, it costs five bucks to get in if you want to go. It's on April 6th.